I know about the contrast, literally. Just got to do it just to put it shade so I can't see if I'm hanging the other way around. Right, get the under on this one. Old helicopter rig, this is what I caught on last night. Not going to change it because it's not broke. So, the hook's still sharp, it's on a little D rig style. And I'm going to chop this just off the lilies. Put some maggot juice on them, and uh, obviously I'll be sorting the camera out in a minute. Right then, guys. Show you Scrappy. See what's going down in Chinatown. Right then, guys. Before we do a little update in the shed. There's the rods. Banging. And it's Scrappy Doe. Yeah, he's chilling with his Kong. He's got his little treats in there. The towel's actually dry, it looks wet, but it's not as dry. Um, but yeah, we were sat underneath the rollies out there. But I thought, nah, bugger that. Ditch the kind of monster. Kind of sat behind in the little shed. It's awesome, isn't it? He's sat in the shed, my arms on. Happy days, he's living the dream, isn't he? I'm proper like Gollum today. Look at this. My precious. <laughs> I can't even see what I look like, so I hope you look like precious. Yeah. <laughs> Old Gollum. There we go. Hiding in his little hut. I had a carp last night, obviously, on the video you would have seen. So uh, I don't know how much video I'm going to get today because obviously it's hammering down with rain. Don't want to be sticking my phone out there all day. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll get on. Ciao for now. Ciao, ciao, ciao. This is carpy guys. Really, really carpy. Yeah. I really think I'm getting, uh, getting results today. Even one fish, but the weather like this, I expect maybe two. I'm really greedy, two. Yeah. If I was at a commercial, I'd say 30. Literally, that's not an exaggeration. My best day on any commercial, well, I won't even commercial, it's just like my uh, club water, where I think it was 32 carp in a day. You know, so, and trust me, that's not even that crazy. I know people have done a lot better than that. But yeah, and that's like work, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'd be happy with one or two fish today. All right, ciao for now. All right, guys, this is the red I just had. Lucy has a, that was game, beep, beep, that's what it was on. So this is why I'm using a massive snowman rig now. All right, ciao for now. Cool. So here we go then, guys. Absolutely buzzing with this. Beautiful fish. I mean, just absolutely bolted off and uh, went straight into a wee bed. Managed to get it out and it was on the snowman rig. I'm absolutely buzzing. Only a look at that, mate. <laughs> Show your tits. You can tell by its big head. Um, it's an old fish. Definitely an old fish. Dorsal's definitely gone. Um, we deteriorated. That's what happens when they get old. But yeah, buzzing with this. Happy, happy days. See if we can get another one. Oh yeah, and it's blind in one eye, it looks. Well, something's going on with his eye. He's got a wonky eye. Turn it around the other way a minute, just to get you a better idea. There we go, mate. We'll get you straight back in, mate. Yeah, he's definitely got a funny eye. So there we go. The has only been here a few hours. And as you see what I mean with dorsal. So there we go. Happy days, absolutely hammering down, snowman rig did the business. Bing bang, bosh. Get straight back in. With this numb nut. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like a little mountain goat, he's chewing bark. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, you. <laughs> he likes it, yeah? He likes it. And this is just like, he's a puppy, you should be taking him out in the rain. I was like, he ain't gonna be out in the rain. He's got his little cabin, his little cabin. And it's like, look, he's got brolly up, he's living a dream. He's got two unhooking mats. He's literally living the dream. 
Um, and now it's not raining, so I'm not surprised the bikes have dried up. But uh, hopefully when it gets over cast again and starts raining, we should get a fish on. It's really hard to record, to be honest with you guys, just purely because I'm here all day and I can't have the camera going all day, so I've run out of battery, basically. I'm going to get a memory pack for it. I know all my videos, I keep saying I'm getting this and getting that, but I do get it. I'm just getting there. Obviously, I had I've got a new phone, so a um, bit of a nightmare, to be honest with you, um, because I haven't got, uh, obviously, a memory, a battery pack for it. So we'll be getting one soon, um, but I spent a lot of money on bloody phone and bloody gear at the moment. Um, but not moaning, not moaning, because the quality of videos are definitely getting better. And uh, it's just a shame that I couldn't get my videos today, but it happens sometimes, you know, when you're doing this type of fishing, it's just, it's hours of silence and then just minutes of madness. <laughs> it's the best way of explaining it. You sat there, chilling, nothing's going on, and suddenly you turn around, and your rod's virtually going in, you know? So it's so like people go, yeah, that's normal coverage. No, it's not, trust me. This type of water, the runs are just like, <laughs> crazy, man. So yeah, and you're just like, oh, am I going to get a bite? And the sun just goes mad. So anyway, I'm hoping I'm going to get at least one more fish. Uh, I've, got, I've got the rest of the day. It's still early, man. It's still like, I think it's like half 11 or something. You know, so buzzing. And Scraps is just living the dream. Look, he's just over there doing whatever he wants to do. <laughs> and, uh, Right, anyway, ciao for now, ciao for now. Right, is this recording? Actually working? <sighs> Man, give me strength. I don't know why it's doing this to me today. Look at this, terrible. Focus, focus camera, please. Look at this. Man. Right, anyway guys, I'm gonna have to get this rod out, but it's on a D-Rig, okay? For some reason, the camera, I presume it's water damage or something, I don't know. But basically it's on a D-Rig and uh, we have to get it out of PV bag. I'll show you afterwards how I've done it. It's just fluorocarbon and I just trapped it with a piece of tubing. It's nothing rocket science, but I don't know why my camera's being such an ass. Fish. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna leave the camera on so you can actually see what's going on if I get a run again. Alright, turn the camera around that way. There we go. And guys, result again. Sorry the camera's off, but obviously I just didn't know how well today was gonna to go. And uh this is probably my best fish. I keep saying that. <sighs> Mate. He's a lively one. It's okay, mate. So there we go. Buzzing with this one. Honestly, did fight really, really hard. You see how I'm out of breath? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Got a really, really big head on it. As you can see. That big head. The old dorsal going up. But yeah, honestly, <laughs> they're right, still by him. Huggy hug. So there we go. <sighs> it's okay, mate. It's okay, mate. It's okay. But yeah, buzzing. Absolutely buzzing with this one. No fingers, carpy carp. Just show you what I'm trying to explain how I'm fishing. See that weed on the surface there? That's what you avoid. Anywhere where it's touching the surface like that, you've got to avoid it. And if you can see, there's like a line what comes. There's my finger. Oh, there's my finger. There's my finger. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> right, there's a line there. Right, it goes, it goes straight up. You see? That's the weed line. That's like a bank, uh, um, what you call it? A bar, basically, what runs through the middle of the lake, and all the weed comes off that bar. See, what happens is the fish, when I catch them about here, bolt for this. And I've noticed that I'm fishing here, 
and I'm not getting as many bites. I cast the edge of this weed here, and I get more bites. This is where I've been getting all my bites. The lilies have just been dead today, even though I've had runs before off it. Um, again, they, they, they've learned by association, it's probably the most fished area on this lake. Every uh, float angler comes and fishes off these lilies because it's like obviously the first swim and it's been cleared. But anyway, if I'm keep rabbiting on. Just because you, uh, you can't see weed, that doesn't mean there isn't weed there. Okay, guys? Because look, just to show you down here, look. Just because it's not on the surface doesn't mean there's not weed. There's still weed. Do you see what I mean? So you still got to be careful where you're casting. So I'm going to read out where that... Let's see, can I get right position of where I'm fishing? Typical, isn't it? Eh? Bloody debacle. Oh, my fucker. Sorry, that's fine. Um, but yeah, basically, look, there's like a weed patch there. A gap there. So I'm trying to get it in between these gaps, basically. And that's what seems to be giving me the bites. And I don't know why. It's because it just spooked out of coming over to here, where I've been baiting, and, and I raked it all out. So they don't like it because <laughs> they're assholes and that's carp for you. So they've learned already, like I've caught a couple of fish there. They're like, nope, we're not coming in there. So now I do on the edge of the weed bed, like big snowman rigs in their face. And uh, basically, again, the reason why I'm using a big snow, blatant rig, uh, but bait, is because when I was fishing over there, um, I could see my bait. And I, well, I could barely see my bait. It was a 10 mil pop-up, white pop-up, and there was a piece of weed next to it and I could barely see it. I thought, I know what these carp are like. And one of the fish I had today had one eye, well, weird eye, did you notice? So um, they can easily miss a small bait like that. And uh, I don't want to miss my bait. So I've got a big blatant pop-up. They come through. Ooh, what's that? Bam. And you find sometimes they spook off it and come back just out of curiosity because they're just, you know, that's a carp for you. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop rabbiting on now because I've got a funny feeling I'm not going to get any more on film just purely because I'd have to film all day just hoping to get one run on camera. And I'm a numpty because I should have rest for a call this morning, but I didn't expect me to catch so many fish so quickly anyway. Right. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. Ciao, ciao. All right, guys. I thought I'd just do a little video in here. With the dog. Doing scraps. All right. We're sat in the bush. It's uh, absolutely hammering down now. Hoping I'm going to get another run. Um, but I just want to quickly uh, post some stuff on some bloody social media, didn't I? And get, you get some bloody idiots. They're not clear what they're talking about. Man. Um... Yeah, uh, if you see a carp, basically, and like I was saying about the dorsal and all just here, not from fucking line going through it, where it's caught it and damaged the line, damaged this dorsal, but really, really old carp, I mean like 35, 25 years old, the dorsal <laughs> actually deteriorates, if that makes sense. Over time, um, I know, I've, I've known it, I've noticed it in there all the time, because all the fish haven't got dorsals, like basically, and... Um, I was watching Simon Scott. He's actually really good. Um, and he's like, obviously, you know, fish manager uh, manager and all this kind of stuff. He needs a lot more about carp than I do. Um, but he was the one who actually was saying that to me. Not that saying to me, sorry, saying it on YouTube. And um, I thought, all oh, right, I never thought of that. And he's like, yeah, well, if they're like 40 years old, over time it deteriorates. You can imagine, can't you? A fin will deteriorate and their dorsal will stick out. Um, and what I call that wild common um, on the video, you notice it had a real pronounced dorsal. Its dorsal was really strong. Um, and when I used to see a fish swimming around, I used to see its dorsal sticking out like a shark. And um, that's because the fish is not very old. It's probably about 10, you know, 10, 15 years old, maybe less than that. Um, but the fish in here, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to do, what's it called? Uh, going to go to a uh, work party and I'm going to have a chat with some of the guys and see when the fish will stop because you can tell, oh, he's talking about, no, no. You can tell that all the fish haven't got dorsals. So, get yeah, up on here. Eh? Um, all the fish haven't got dorsals. So, um, I reckon a lot of the fish are really old. You can see them when they're swimming around because most fish, when they're swimming around wild, they stick out their dorsals. And um, these have like little stumps. And uh, all of them, uh, literally every fish. The next one I catch, I'll stick up his dorsal. Um, and I'll show you a screenshot of his, one of the dorsals. And it's not because of the line or anything like that. It's over time, they deteriorate. I'm not about a fish when the line goes through and you can catch them. You catch the, the dorsal and just um, ruins their fin. I mean, proper deteriorates. It breaks down over time. You keep getting knocked. Imagine a 40 year old fish swimming around. Some of it's going to go old. It's like our teeth in it, they wear down. So simple things like that. Um, 
But yeah, somebody was like, no, they don't. No, they don't. It's like, dude, like, before you say no, they don't. No, they don't. Go and have a little look. <laughs> I'm not all about 10 year old fish. I'm all about 30 year old fish. Obviously, it's, it's going to deteriorate. It's like, you know, it makes sense to me when he said it. Um, but Simon Scott, yeah, if you really mm -hmm. want to go and look at some decent stuff, some people will be quite surprised that I actually like him. Um, but I do. He's a really good. Um, He's a lot about carp. He's not an amazing, amazing carp. I'm even he's called a much bigger fish than me. Hey, you. What you eating? What you eating? <laughs> Gonna have to have a mouse or something. Um, but yeah, he's a really good. Uh, he's got so much knowledge on fish um, and carp and the way they feed and stuff like that. And he's actually got one about what how they feed. Um, I'm not promoting him, but anyway. So I just wanted to say that's the reason why I keep saying these fish are quite old because you can tell they are by their dorsal fins. They're all deteriorated. Every single one of them that I've caught so far. Um, I've seen a couple of young fish the other day, and you can tell they weren't because their fins were all you know, pronounced strong fish. Um, but literally, all the ones to keep catching have got really weird dorsals, and that's fine. Right, anyway, I'm going to get out of the bush. Right, shed. Bye bye. Alright, guys, here we go. I've got a fish on, and uh, I think it's quite a good fish, you know. As you can see, with all the weed, I know it's a really weird angle. It's because uh, if I drop the phone, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Alright, I've got a. No. Yeah. It's not as big as I thought it was, it's just got loads of weed on it. It's a long, lean, common look. Right, I'll come back to you in a minute. I know I've got terrible footage today, but it's hard to explain. But if I let the camera run the whole time, I'm going to run out of battery. I don't want to run out of battery because I'm going to film what I'm doing. A fish just rolled again on my bait. And I thought it was a little common, this. It thought really are, but I thought, ah, oh, it's just a little common stuck in the weed. But it's a, um, that, look at this dorsal. Look at that dorsal. Really weird. Is that what I'm about? And this one, I don't think it's as, as old as some of the ones I've caught before. But it's definitely a nice fish. Buzzing with that. Can't moan about E, eh? Oh, kitty. Look at Nick bagging up. Absolute bagging wagon, aren't I? Get some of this stuff out of the way so it looks a little bit better. I'm not the best with photos, you know. Out of the way. There we go. So, after a long, I say long, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. So, productive morning. Can't moan about that, eh? Number three today on uh, the snowman rig the snowman rig uh, nice big hook i don't really like using sizes of that hook but look at this Whoa. well there we go guys this is what i've got to deal with <sighs> weed 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 right ciao for now give me strength <laughs> it's absolutely soaking man three fish on the bank and this is what is doing the damage Hey, scrap, be careful, mate. I've got a hook in my hands. Back, good boy. All right. So, the sexy D rig. I know the camera is terrible because it's hammered down with rain. I've got to see myself. I can't see what's going on with the camera. But, sexy D. Honestly. There we go. Sexy D rig, snowman style. Morning, guys. I just thought I'd have a little chat, little chat with you. Um, just saying about the fix on your own fishing, man. Don't worry about what people are doing, you know. Um, all these people like catching 30s and God knows what I was from linear. Uh, don't worry about it, you know, just fixing your own fishing. If you ain't got a very big PB, just focus on catching a lot of fish and you kind of find your own way what you want to do with your own angling, you know. Like, I found my own way. I, I was fishing with somebody who fishes like big waters all the time, like going to linear and stuff. And like, I turned up with these rookie bank sticks. I had a float rod out, I caught a pike, a little perch. You can imagine the people walking past looking at me, thinking, look at the state of this guy, man. He ain't gonna catch nothing. Well, no one caught a fish for like five days. At least I caught a pike. <laughs> but yeah, it was about, it was about a 10 pound pike um, out of linear, not bad, uh, save the blank. But yeah, just fix on yourself, do my bad people. Um, like literally, when I first started fishing, like I'd always get a float rod out, and I still do now, obviously. Um, I always do. Um, and that's what I like doing. And I remember like doing it a few times and like people looking at me. You know, they're carp fishing on there with my little float rod out. Like, uh, the thing is, just don't worry about other people. Just focus on yourself. Do what you enjoy. I, I enjoy ditch fishing for roach. You know, I like catching carp at places like this. Um, but that's not what most people like doing. But to be honest with you, I love river fishing. Anything. I don't really care. You know, as long as do dangling, I don't really mind. Um, but yeah, just focus on yourself. Don't worry about other people and what people are doing. You know, it gets a bit weird with people. You know, like oh. 
Look at the state of this fish from linear. You look at it and you're like, it's like the reason why there's so many fish in B1 or over 30 is because it just fed so much. It's crazy. And they're just like fat balloons. They look ridiculous. Not my type of fish. They're vile, man. I'd rather catch a little 14 pounder out of it. Even that looks a little one I had the other night than these horrible things, man. They look states. Um, so yeah, that's, that's your own angling. Yeah, that's a cheap, but I'm just saying that's my opinion on those type of fish. Um, oh, what are they called now? Simos. Yeah, disgusting fish, man. Ugh. Um, yeah, it's not my type of fishing. I think wrong. I would like the old nice mirror in here. Nice big mirror. Be nice. Um, but yeah, no boily guts for me, man. I'm not really interested in those type of fish. Um, and named fish, like I see people saying. Um, none of these fish are named. You know, there's no day swimming around. So I can name them. I can name them. Hey, next, bit, the biggest fish in here is going to be called Dave. <laughs> That's it. The biggest fish is called Dave. Simple as that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping the rod's going to go one more time at least. It would be really good if they did. But, you know, it's dangling for you, isn't it? You never know what's going on. Um, so hopefully we'll catch a carpet. All right, then, guys. I think I'm going to call it a day there. I think the scratch is done. And uh, everything's a bit... Well, I'm not too... I'm, too, I'm not too bad, but you know, he's a little puffy. And uh, so I'm gonna get my old man to come pick me up in a bit. Um, we'll put the rods up. But three fish in one day, pretty happy. I used quite a lot of bait for me, to be honest. I went through half a kilo of uh, boilies, half a kilo of chickpeas, half a kilo of uh, corn. Um, so that's quite a lot of bait in two days for me. Um, but I've been putting the bait as I've been getting a bite, you know. I'm not gonna, like, no, I ain't just been plowing the bait in. I've been putting them little by little. Every time I do videos, there's always a siren or the train going past. <laughs> All right, mate, we've got the idea. You're coming through. Ooh, sort of fish. Right, so yeah, uh, free fish today. Uh, free better fish today. So it shows I'm getting on the fish now. It's starting to get through to them. So hopefully, um, in the next video, we'll get a few more. Right, sorry, I can burp. Like and subscribe, Fighting Fisherman on in and on Instagram, Fighting Fisherman number nine. Right, channel for now. Boom. Bing bang. Gosh.